Hey everybody, it's me, Lady Ada. I'm here at the Adafruit factory and it's time for another wearable teardown. This week we're going to be tearing down the Ringly. It's a dainty cocktail ring that's also a Bluetooth notification device. The Ringly app for iOS and Android lets you customize color and vibration settings for different apps and contacts. When you tap it twice, it lights up to let you know it's still connected to the phone. The Ringly box is also the charger, and it has its own battery too for convenient charging while traveling. To open up our Ringly, we tapped it gently with a hammer until the stone popped out. The circuit inside is like a teeny burrito of flex PCB wrapped around the pager motor and battery. Okay, now that Becky has taken apart the Ringly box, let's check it out for more details on what's going on inside. So here is a 250 milliamp hour battery. So, you know, not too bad, pretty big battery. And it's got a protection cell as well over here. And over here, it even says, this is the Ringley version 0.5 box. And here's the boost circuit. It even says boost. So you know that this is the boost circuitry. And then over here is the charging circuitry. It comes from the USB, charges up this battery and then boosts it back to five volts out to these two pogo pins and these pogo pins are what's used to touch the ringly contacts on the bottom here to charge the ringly itself so there's sort of like a, a backup power supply you can always keep the usb plugged in but on the go this battery will probably recharge it for you know maybe a week or so without having to need the usb all right so now we're on to the really fun part which is the ringly itself so the stone comes off of the top and inside is this nice cavity where Becky kindly removed the electronics. Now the electronics are so small, it's only worth it to look at it on the microscope. So let me unwrap this burrito of electronic love. Inside is a teeny little battery. This is maybe a 50, let's see. Doesn't have markings, but I'm gonna guess that this little battery here is like maybe 25 or 30 milliamp hours. And there's also a little vibration motor. This is the same kind of vibration motor we have in the Adafruit shop, so it's very familiar. And this is what adds buzzing feedback. And you can see the Ringley logos here and these little holes that add um, the ability to flex the circuit and close it upon itself. On the opposite side, we actually have the circuitry. In the center is our favorite Bluetooth Low Energy chip, the NRF51822. A great little chip, super low power, comes with a Cortex-M0. So you can do pretty much all the processing you need as well as Bluetooth on one chip. And then you see this cute little antenna strip down here. It goes over to a little microchip antenna on the side and you can see the strip line as well. And then um, over here we have a little bit more circuitry. I'm going to guess that there's an accelerometer probably here, maybe a motor driver chip, one of these, and then a battery protection circuit as well. Over here you can see this little LED, this is an RGB LED, and what's cute is on the back there's um, test points for it that even say red, green, and blue. You can see it a little bit here, so that's how they test the LED, and it shines out the side. Such a miniature little RGB LED, but it, it's pretty bright, and the crystal makes it look even better. So all together, you know, you've got like a crystal, uh, all-in-one Bluetooth arm core, and a battery. There's not a lot going on here, but it's so beautifully packaged up. Really elegant how they managed to get everything to fit inside of a ring using this sort of origami flex circuit. And uh, that's it. So a great little wearable. I think it's beautifully designed. Whoever did this um, did a really great job fitting it all together and into a very wearable package. So that's the Ringley, um, one of the smallest wearables. I really like this one. I, I think I might get one of my own. Uh, check back in a month, we'll do another wearable teardown. For this and many other great teardowns, we use the Adafruit USB microscope and its articulated stand. Check out our other wearable teardowns in the playlist. And if you have recommendations for other wearables you'd like us to tear down, put them in the comments below. Thank you for watching and subscribe for more wearable videos from Adafruit.